With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. Center Relief President Brian Wright is on the ground amid the rubble and devastation caused by a major earthquake in Turkey and northern Syria last week. In a video released over the weekend, he urged Christians to give and pray. More than 35,000 people have died due to the quake and its aftershocks. The death toll could still rise. Send Relief is the Southern Baptist Convention's worldwide compassion ministry. They've been distributing blankets as temperatures dip below freezing at night and other essential supplies. Tens of thousands of survivors are sleeping in the streets, in their cars, or in parking lots to avoid being crushed by rubble if another building collapses. Families are spending excruciating nights exposed to the elements. Hope of finding survivors has all but faded, but Cruz did find a four-year-old girl on Monday, according to the Associated Press. To learn how you can give to relief efforts, you can visit sendrelief.org. A panel of musicians, church historians, and theologians will discuss the impact and legacy of the hymn Amazing Grace and its author, John Newton. The discussion happens on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Central at the Midwestern Baptist Theological Seminary in Kansas City. 2023 marks the 250th anniversary of the wonderful hymn. It was penned by a small-town preacher in 1773, and it's become one of the most well-known songs in history. To watch the panel, visit mbts.edu. Good News for Today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His Great Commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash goodnews. Revival fires are stirring again at a small college in rural Kentucky near Lexington. Services filled with preaching, singing, and personal testimonies have been ongoing at Asbury University and Theological Seminary since February 8th. Alexandra Presta, a student at Asbury, wrote in the Asbury Collegian, the campus newspaper, Peers, professors, local church leaders, and seminary students surround me, all of them praying, worshiping, and praising God together. Voices are ringing out. People are bowing at the altar, arms stretched wide. She wrote that about the midweek chapel service that began on Wednesday, February the 8th, where campus minister Zach Meercribs led an invitation for personal confession and testimonies. Bill Elliff, a longtime student of prayer and revival, attended a portion on Friday. He said, within the first hour, I'd move from being a spectator to a humble participant. Read more at baptistpress.com. <music> 